Hello everybody and welcome to Battle Moon Wars episode 8. In the last episode I believe we trashed the abandoned factory and destroyed Caster. In this episode we are going to the Tono Mansion to talk about something or another with all these other people. Okay. Um, let's move on. Now then, shortly before all this started, that day I took the princess to one of the movies she enjoys. We got to the theater. Which movie would you like to see? Nah, I'm tired of the usual superhero ones. I've seen them enough lately on TV. And anything that's supposed to be really scary, nothing like that. That rules out 80% of the current movies. Does it? Then how about school which kind of movies or DVD I saw? Whatever you want to see, see will be fine with me. No, you're the one who wants to see something. Well, this one is new and I've heard good things about it. If you still want to watch something, eh, then let's do it. I guess so. <laughs> then you're taking on a new film genre. Eh, what? What? What does that mean? <laughs> this is... Ooh! <laughs> How is it? <laughs> oh, look out, cutie! Go, go! She's completely wrapped up in it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why does he keep getting in cutie's way? Like, Kya, keep fighting, cutie! <laughs> Kya, you can do it. Just expected, cutie. Arco took the Magical Girl cartoon a little too seriously. Why, did she completely buy into it? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so then that means... Help, Phantasmoon! What do you need? I think she's been stalked lately. <laughs> every time I go home, she looks like someone's there, and every time I... And sometimes I get a candid photo in the mall. Well then, I just need to cast a stalker. Please help me, I'm begging you, Phantasmoon. <laughs> I'm begging you too, Phantasmoon. <laughs> okay, leave it to me. Tight moon, tight moon, full count, magic strike, magical circuit. What, what's she doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, seems to, similar to the spell that the movie's magical girl uses. Just to ask my marble phantasm. I understand. Who is it? What's happening here is the person is somebody you recognize. That's right, your friend is the criminal. Get! No way, it was Mr. B? That can't be right, can it? Isn't she just guessing? Well, that might be. She does have a 100% hit rate. No way, she can't be that accurate. So far, at least she hasn't been wrong. It's kind of strange, really. The transfer to be a gifted prophet is unheard of. <laughs> Either that or she's just convening. Arkad Brunstud. What, Seal? Ah, and Shiki too. Shiki, you saw it? I helped someone in need. <laughs> yep, I saw it all. <laughs> B. B. No, stop that. Ow, what on earth do you think you're doing? Isn't this what a magical girl should do? <laughs> Aren't you here to do that with me? I was just thinking we'd match well. Well, it's black and white. What was that? She should already changed my name once, and now this? Eh, well then, we should be Moon... Stop! That's enough! <laughs> eh, alright. It doesn't sound fun, though. <laughs> Please stop joking around. Your mere existence bends reality, and now this. Why are you doing these things? <laughs> because it's really, really fun. <laughs> you just don't get it yet. I've come to enjoy saving weak humans. All crime avengers provide hope. I think copying them will be fun. Stop saying strange things. Everything I see here makes me feel ill. Ha ha ha, you must be something funny to have fun. You must become something funny to have fun. Well, I'm going to look for more people to help. See ya. Oh, for- Hold up. <laughs> then a few days later. <laughs> Somebody help me. Your savior has arrived. The white princess of the moon, Phantasmoon, is here. And leave this place to me and escape. Thank you, Phantasmoon. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the reason she's doing this. That's kind of funny. Well, I was right. Magical girl Arkrid. Well, whatever. <laughs> They're gonna have to come up here, and during that, I can just take pot shots at them. Is there a battle mastery for this, actually? Um, well, looks like there will be, but there isn't right now. Alright. Yeah, that was kind of a funny opening. Sorry if it was hard to understand because I was laughing so much. It's just, not only is it funny what's going on, but I find it hilarious that I'm actually voicing all these girl characters. I don't know why, I just do. Um, whoops. 
Alright, here we go. End. But anyway. Alright then. Let's just skip this one. Oops. Ah, I keep doing it wrong. Alright, end. There we go. And so, I'm recording this about the time episode 2 will be uploaded. I have like a whole bunch of episodes. <laughs> you're actually like a lone vigilant again, are you? What, what was that? I don't know what you're talking about at all. If you're out of justice, then why are you trying to leave when the dead are still around? What? You came here just to scold me? How could you do such a thing? Ah, uh, if you insist. You're a girl, let me teach you then. About what? About being a true superhero. I can teach you all about being a true ally of justice as opposed to strange ideas you currently have. Still, a human can never match up s still. A crime avenger isn't easy to define. There are actually various kinds. Five people team up to choose an invader. Or a remodeled man can be fighting reluctantly. Maybe a detective from another planet. But he's an idiot who wants to help everyone and doesn't understand evil. The point is, they're all trying to defend someone. That someone is measured in people. As far as reaching your goal, you can do it any number of ways. However, justice is measured in the number of people you help. So that's why you're doing this. Me? I'm not talking about myself. Have you already forgotten? Maybe Seal has Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. What? Who has Alzheimer's? Who has Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's here? Well, that's fine. You get it, Seal? I am a magical girl. A magical girl's justice is to help those in need. Do you get it? And you're not embarrassed at all to do stuff like this? That's right. This question isn't a world in a magical girl's dictionary. <laughs> Someone save you from this. Lord knows I just can't kill you. I can't just kill you. Oh no, still, I couldn't let you pre I couldn't you pretend to be something less embarrassing? For a magical girl, there is no should or should not. I could do what I want like this when I can't usually. Then you stopped the trouble that was going on before? Yep. After all that, that's all there was. Hmm, what, a little bit of teasing? If you were playing with people's lives, I wouldn't have turned a blind eye. However, it's just something stupid. You belong with the deadline there. It's some person. The Phantasmoon, I must be attacked by an evil woman. What? You've got it all wrong. That's right, she's the dark Grand Massil's seventh ring seal of the curry master. All Japan knows her schemes and plans. Stop feeling strange ideas under her head. If we have an escape. Yes, I'm off. Sheesh, what the heck? <laughs> Our crit is just so funny. Kya! Don't run! Ah, don't run! Seal! Temporary truce! First we need to help that girl. Yes, there's no other way. I understand. Protect the girl. What the heck? It's literally impossible to get battle mastery. Just, unless of course you knew about it ahead of time. Guard. What's the range? Pretty good range, honestly. Alright. Um, no, that won't work. I'll just move over here then. And then attack one of these fools. This fool. You can move over here and then you can attack no second thought just attack period don't even bother moving <coughs> well that went well I guess it is game over if that girl is defeated. Maybe I can control her, actually. Well, whatever. Let's just uh, go for this again. <laughs> okay. Alright, level 10 for Arcrid. I mean, Phantasmoon. What the heck? <laughs> Also, I'm not sure if Arcrid is really how you pronounce your name. I've just been saying it like that because it's more convenient. Or it's because it's how I've always said it. It's well, whatever. I am recording, right? Yes, I am recording. 
Okay. Um. New. Yeah, let's just skip all this. Try not to holding down control will skip a battle sequence. Wonder if I can move the girl. Um Let's just attack this person for now. And I'll show you her thing. Yes. Black keys. Um. I should destroy that person immediately. I just got curry. What the heck? That's weird. All right. Okay, person moves, this person moves, person moves, and this person hops down here, and wipes out this fool, how about? This person moves over here. Man, these guys got crazy jumping bows. And let's just hope that they don't kill that person. Ah, oh, this is difficult. <coughs> um, let's try this again. You know, let's just skip this. Um. Let's just attack this fool. And let's just attack this fool again. Let's just attack this fool again. Alright, then we'll skip all this. What's this? This is Seventh Holy Scripture. Ooh, that looks fun. I'm going to actually move right here. Then I'm going to end. Miss. Oh. That went well. <laughs> Another level up for Arcrid or Phantasmoon, whatever her name is. Alright. No, oh, dang it, how did Okay, whatever. Yeah. I need to finish off this person. Alright. 
Um, you can also use this as sort of like a walkthrough of sorts to figure out all my mistakes and not make them yourself, but... Oh, seal leveled up to level 9. Seal. Seal. I just call it seal. Black keys. I wanna watch this. Yeah, black keys are pretty awesome weapons, honestly. I mean, seriously, swords that you can just pull out of nowhere and throw. Alright, let's uh, finish this sucker off. A card of magic lend me your power. What the heck? <laughs> well, that went well. Not. Thank you, Phantasm. Don't lose that evil woman. Of course, that's enough for today. Now then, we're always getting dangerous tonight. It might be a good idea to stay inside. Yes, I will. Hey, wait! She's gone. Why did you say that? Why are you even getting into this stuff? Because your plan to change Japan to India might be true? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I never changed Japan to India. I just like the staple... Just changed the staple food to curry. <laughs> and what do you have to say to that? Talk about self-destructive. <laughs> I guess I should be off. Where are you going now? Well, that is... I'm going home. Don't make me repeat myself. Not yet. I'm not finished with you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sure, but I'm finished with you. <laughs> well then, Sue. Next time you're lonely, come over and we'll play. Wait, our kid! <laughs> and that's all I can remember. That's probably when it started. <laughs> <laughs> it's all our kid's fault. Let's do a group. Okay, I'm satisfied with this group. Um, Saber. SP up. And let me see. Let's get um another counter for saber. Bit of attack and a bit of defense for saber. And then some of this. Bit of this. Akiha. Um. Okay, that'll work. What does curry do? Foyer covers energy. Need one of those for Saber then. One of these for Akiha, I guess. There we go. I'm satisfied. Um. Okay. That was a short one, so maybe I'll try and squeeze another one into this episode. Actually, that wasn't too short. It was 20 minutes. Wow. Okay then. Um. Let's win this off for now then. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vizorak11. Um. Next time we will, I assume, finally get to talk about uh, what we're going to do next. That was a funny little flashback, but not really important. No, maybe it was important, I don't know. We'll find out next time. So this has been Battle Moon Wars, Episode 8. I think? Yeah, Episode 8. It should be Episode 8. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time, and...